we ask if possible you don't cover the dock. Why would you ask that? The reason is because when they get put online, yeah. we've got competitors in this area up at all Grimsby. Right. And they can see what we're doing. So welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here in Boston taking a look at the port of Boston. Established 1884. So we'll find a nice safe place. This is uh, a public highway, so we're around here somewhere. So what can we see then? Well loads of cranes to get stuff off the vessels. Loads of silos and loads of signs. All HGVs and delivery vehicles must pass through the port security. Everyone must go through the port security unless you're authorized to go straight down there. And down there is the port of Boston again. Port security, restricted area. Entry into this area without authorization is a breach of security. And will render you liable to prosecution under the Ship and Port Facility Security Regulations 2004. Okay, well it's a good job we're not past that sign then, eh? That's a bit dusty. TWR Lincolnshire. Just speaking to security there. Handing over his paperwork. Down at the back, lots of wood. Loads of wood, isn't there? And what other product can we see? Well, apart from the Howard Tenon's yard there, which is completely empty, you can't really see much more. Hmm. So a couple of parking spaces here for Border Force. Ah. So they have got checks here. As stuff comes in and out. But why is this vehicle not moving out of the way? What's going on there? So yes, apart from the wood, can't really see much and we know there's going to be a lot to see so let's just get david up shall we and let's see what the port of boston looks like from above so we've checked on drone assist there are no flight restrictions in the area at all port of boston let's have a look at you then shall we home point updated So there we are, up at 85 meters. All the goods vehicles enter via the gatehouse. And you've got a few choices, haven't you? You can go up there. Looks like more wood. Oh, you can go around here where we do have one vessel. In the dock. And a few boats over there where we do have movement so let's go straight over stick it in sport mode and go and see what's going on so there we are we have the lady Elidia being loaded
with 360 grabs. One's, oh, I think they're both on wheels, yeah. What is the product though? The forklift brings it down from the stack, brings it closer so the arm can just grab it and load it very carefully. Awesome. And there's loads more to be loaded over here. We're closer now to the other boats, aren't we? What are these two? Boston Pilots. of steel over here with some of the concrete arches. Stacks and stacks of wood storage. And then we have this vessel here. What's this one called? Uh, this one is the Ems Coast. They look interesting, don't they? Big spools of some sort. And then a bit of a concrete structure over here. What might this be? Any ideas? I think you got a drone up here. Yeah, let's have a look around. Yeah, I know I don't. Nothing I can do about it. Alright. But we I don't know where it is, probably over the dock. If we ask you if it's possible, you don't cover the dock. Why would you ask that? The reason is because when they get put online, yeah. we've got competitors in this area up at all Grimsby. Right. And they can see what we're doing. They'll just come here and do it themselves if they want to see it. I'm not arguing with you, No, no, I'm no, asking, I'm, Okay, politely I'm politely declined. politely asking you. Politely declined. Okay, that's fine. I know how the, I know where the law stands. I know I can't do anything about it. Yeah, it don't make sense. If do you mind if I see where you cover it? If the competitors wanted to see, they'd just come and do it themselves. That's very interesting, that building. What what happens in there? It's a grain store, but it's obsolete. Is it like um, Maltings? No, it's a general grain store. Right, okay. It used to be um, Frontier Grain. Right. But when they built Barrier, um, the chute for that had to be all took down, so it's been obsolete since they built Barrier. What a waste. Is it used for storage, or out? No, it's just empty. Not used at all? I'd, whether they'll redo it another day, I don't know. You know, once the Barrier and everything gets finished, they might recommission it. Right. Um, that's what it was anyway. I, mean, I noticed the um, the bales of something over here getting loaded. That's awesome to see, but I can't quite make out it's what... It's RDF bales. RDF. Refuse plastics. Oh, is it getting exported? Yeah. Rather than recycled here in the country? It's exported and it goes through incinerators. Because we've got the um, capacity now to recycle that here. Yeah. Isn't it a shame? Yes, oh, I'm trying to get a mix. Right, mate, now. Carry on to the truck. Oh, I'm not, I'm say not like if, Say like if it was an us. MOD establishment or something where really our competitor, like our, our enemy, yeah. could use it against us, against the country, you know. And the, the, the thing is, we do run all the security things now. Similar to airports. We have done for it since 2004. I noticed you've got Border Force, haven't you? Or not? Yeah, they're, no, they're not based here. Do they never come? No, I don't think Oh, but I thought, oh, that looks really have, good. We have to provide two parking areas. They right. used to be based on here years ago. Right. But they, they, they all come under a security system now called the ISPS code. Oh, well, we're at the bottom, great. But it works similar to air, airports. Yeah. But if you were, say, Dover or somewhere like that, oh, yeah. yeah, they'd stop you. Yeah, yeah. 
Well, they'd try. They'd try harder. They would, I would think they would have a restricted zone. Well, if they have, then yeah. you shouldn't be doing it anyway. No, no, no. Yeah. No, no you probably, you probably, you're right anyway. You probably know your full rights and you've got everything in your license and a lot. I'm yeah. Not, you know, I'm not interested. But not interested. I'm well, interested I, in you. But uh, I say, if we can, we try and stop people covering over the port. Do you know, like, if somebody really wanted to get something into the country, because this port of Boston is at the low level of checks, could they, like, sneak it through in, in wood, we, wood we, shipments we or something? We still complete checks. On the wood? We're, we're at the minimum standard. Have you ever had it where they've sneaked stuff through, like, things like wood or timber? No. No? Because a lot of that comes through here, doesn't it? Timber. Yeah. yeah. What else? Tim, tim, all the virtually all the timber comes in goes straight to Mexico. Yeah, it's nearly all straight to So if they are going to get stuff in contraband, which shipments would it be yeah, through the Boston? Con contraband you'll get in occasionally. No, like what it used to be years ago. What w it concealed in the goods though? Oh, no, we've never had that. Just in their own luggage. Yeah, they've, they've had it at all. Where they've had it stuff packed in packs of timber, but we've never had it. You've never known any sort of issue like that here? Not only. We've, had, if, if, we've had customs down with the stuff and checked. Oh, random? Oh, yeah, they do random checks, stuff right. like that. But, uh, but not very often. All we've had is fags, fags. In, the, in the past. What, have you ever been involved them. in finding it yourself? No. 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 We don't, that's, not, that's not our remit. I'm not paid enough for that. No, but say like if um, somebody was uh, trying to come out of the port. We have had one incident where we've let people in on purpose and then got customs down to do it. Ah, like a, an operation a, planned. Yeah, that was a big amount. Yeah. But that was four years ago now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, these big operations, you know, they sort of do let it go to the point of delivery yeah. so they can course, catch... The customs didn't know that was coming. We'd already tweaked what was happening, but... Right. Um, yeah, I'm going back years on that. <laughs> now, all, a lot of that stuff's done down there. That's it. And our, tra right. our traffic tends to be regular traffic as well. Yeah, same ships week in, week out. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we know the Oh, mate, I'll not, I'll yeah, I won't I'll, be long I'm not, now. I'm not going to stand here and argue with you. Good, like good. Yeah. Are you going to tell me what they're storing these? Look, it's grain silos. Oh, unused because of the... the... Uh, it's just storage. Oh, it's still used though? Yeah. All yeah. oh, right, okay. So, they're pumped straight off the vessel into there? Yeah, uh, yeah. Is it well, that link well, there? No, if you, it doesn't come in. It, all, all their stuff comes in by road. Oh right, so the, so it the comes vehicles... in by road, road vehicles tip, store it in there until the market's right or whatever and the farmer wants to sell it and then it's shipped out. Oh sometimes wow. They'll, sometimes they'll pick it up by road and another time it'll okay. you got a grain chute to sell it. So it'll ship them all up there and it'll just shoot it in. But oh that'll be awesome to it see. It runs on a conveyor. I'd love to see that it's being spit it. out into the boat. Is it is it like a boat like this with an open? I'm um, oh, sorry that it was the one over over here. Yeah, yeah, the, it's same as. There's one like over here with an open top. It's really hard to see because I'm quite far away. Uh, that one out there, a bit dredging. Has it got a crane on? The yeah, crane on the front. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's our dredging. So it'd be the same as one of one of these. No different to any ordinary cargo ship. Right. Okay. You just open it, it's old, and they'll drop it in. Right. So the dredger, does that get used often? We do um, dredge the river here and there when it, when it silts up, yeah. Yeah. And then they take it out in the wash and dump it at a particular dumping ground. Is that when the vessels complain that they're getting well, we, grounded? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, it's a, is it a pilot or a captain? Pilot. When is it a captain? Ships have captains. Right. We have pilots. Right. Vessels have pilots. Like a, a vessel has to come in with a pilot, right. so our pilots go out, board the vessel, and they can either take control of the ship and bring it in, or they can advise the captain. Oh, right. That's how it works. So your pilots know your route, oh, yeah. know the deep section, so they are the only trusted people to bring the vessels yeah. in. Ah, that, that's, so I don't know that's that. why you have a pilot, stop anything going on the ground. Right. Okay. I'm glad you came over. <laughs> okay, mate. It was a pleasure. I'm going to bring it back now. I'm done.
I'll just take your name, but I'm not. DJ. Gonna... DJ. Right, okay. Yeah, I, mean, I, I didn't know how you was one of the ones that put it on the local Facebook. No, YouTube, group. mine. I've got a YouTube channel. I just go all around industrial estates. Oh, right. Getting footage of interesting what, places. Are you local, then? No, Leicester. Leicester. I travel the, the country doing oh, it. Right. Yeah, do you want a key ring? So you can see the channel. There you go, DJ Audits. Okay, mate, thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. No, we have a couple of local ones that tend to put um, stuff on the uh, Facebook, that sort of stuff. What, of the port? Well, no, no, of Boston in general. All right, quite interesting to see then. Um, I think one's called Chris. I think one of them does it as a business, I think. Yeah. But, uh, well, when you watch an advert, that's what gives us our money. All right. Yeah. You not, might not know it, but by watching that advert, even if you press skip, we still get about four pence. Yeah. And thousands and thousands of views times four pence. Yeah. It all adds up. Yeah. Okay, mate. All right, have a nice day. Thank you. So there we go. The port of Boston. Excellent information there by security. Who initially said, please don't. Max altitude reach. More boats down there, look. Even houses, and back onto the water. How lovely is that? But there are some roadworks going on, very close by, which is causing a little bit of havoc. <laughs> if you're local, I'm sure you know what I mean. I can't find them right now. But let's get a 360 degree photo for Google Maps and move on. The location of the DJ audits keyring on this video is gonna be down here, under that stone dust there. So if you are one of the first people to watch a video and you do want a key ring, good luck with that. And that was the port of Boston. What a great bloke in security. No SIA license, but being that nice to us, just got to take it, haven't we? And now we know the goods that we saw in the first instance are bales of plastic being exported to be recycled. The grain store, is for the farmer's storage and they will sell it whenever the price is right and that big building over there was well you heard what he said it's now disused and it might be put back into use when the gate is fixed and the pilot they have their own pilots that bring the vessels in because they are the experts on these routes there we go, Port of Boston. Fantastic information. And I'll leave that one there, guys. So if you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye for now.